A little while ago, I created a video on Windows Defender App Control. It's a feature we recommend for businesses and enterprises that prevents untrusted and unsanctioned apps from running on corporate devices. Windows Defender App Control, or WDAC for short, is managed by an MDM, such as Intune or Config Manager, or if you're really old school, GPO. Until now, there hasn't been a direct equivalent for home or personal users. And that's fine, right? Because home users sh should be able to run any apps they want. Sure, okay, but there are many home users who want and need to be able to run any app. But there are also many home users who really don't understand the difference between trusted and untrusted apps. They're not usually able to spot a malicious app, for example. The problem is, unlike iOS and Android, and Chromebook maybe, Windows users exist in a world that is not a closed app ecosystem. This means that users can typically install an app from any source. Microsoft doesn't need to approve these apps like Apple and Google do. Well, that changes with Windows 11 22H2 with Smart App Control. Smart App Control adds significant protection from new and emerging threats by blocking apps that are malicious or untrusted. Smart App Control also helps block potentially unwanted apps, which are apps that might cause a device to run slowly, display apps that you don't expect, or just install extra software that you didn't want or you didn't expect. Smart App Control works alongside security software like Microsoft Defender and even non-Microsoft antivirus tools. So how does Microsoft determine if an app is trusted? When a developer creates an app, they're encouraged to sign that app using a digital certificate that verifies their identity and that the app is really published by them and it hasn't been tampered with by someone after the developers published it. Signing is just one part of the app trust process. The other part is Microsoft's experience. The Microsoft Cloud Powered Security Service sees a huge number of apps every day and uses that knowledge to predict if an app is safe or not safe. Even apps that haven't actually been seen before, it uses the heuristics of that knowledge to determine whether it might be safe or not. In some cases, though, obviously, it's not able to make a confident prediction either way. And if it can't make that confident prediction about an app, and it doesn't have a valid signature, then it's just considered not to be trusted. Let's take a quick look at how we turn Windows 11 Smart App Control on and off. Firstly, a disclaimer. Windows 11 Smart App Control can only be used on Windows 11 22H2 and newer, and it has to be a fresh install, either fresh out of the box, a fresh VM, or a reset of an existing device. If you've upgraded from Windows 10 or Windows 11 earlier versions to 22H2, then it's not going to be enabled by default and you won't be able to enable it. Even when it is enabled, it starts in evaluation mode so that it can determine what type of user you are and whether Smart App Control is a good fit. If you remember my comparison with WDAC earlier on, this is known as audit mode in corporate environments, and it's a really good idea. Let's jump in. So let's take a look at how this works. By default, it should be in evaluation mode, so we're gonna just go to settings and type Smart App Control. And here we go. So it's enabled in evaluation mode. And as you can see, it says, while Smart App Control is in evaluation mode, it will learn if it can help protect you without getting in your way too much. If so, it'll be turned on. Otherwise, it'll be turned off. Now, I don't really have um, time to wait for this uh, for evaluation mode to determine whether I'm a good fit. I want to turn it on and see if it works and see what happens. So I'm going to go with turn on. And you need admin. That's an interesting quirk. Okay, so you need to be admin. Good. We'll turn that on. And it's now impossible to turn on evaluation mode again. You can't get back to eval mode without resetting your PC. Notice if I was to turn this off, it says warning, turning this feature off is permanent and not recommended. So it doesn't recommend that you fully turn it off at all because then you won't be able to turn it back on without resetting your PC. Anyway, I've turned it on, so it says if Smart App Control spots a malicious or untrusted app, it will block it to protect your device. Good news. I have a malicious or untrusted app. I wouldn't say malicious, it just runs a script, but let's see. Just go into my C drive, 
and it's an app called Run Me. It doesn't do an awful lot. Uh, it just says this code run ran successfully. It's written in PowerShell, but then it's made into an executable through 7-zip. But I'm just going to click on Run. And it says Smart App Control blocked an app that may be unsafe. See, runme.exe was blocked because we can't confirm who wrote it, and it's not an app we're familiar with. If you think we've made a mistake in blocking this file, select Send Feedback to us to send a copy of the file along with your comments for review. That's interesting. So now you can imagine as an end user, you get the option of OK, and you don't read, the app doesn't run, you send feedback and the app doesn't run, or get app from the store. Uh, and if you do that, presumably it will open up the app store and you could try and get a different version of runme.exe from the store, which is unlikely to be there. If it is, that's bad. So all good. Let's jump down and see what happens if we just turn off smart screen. Let's turn off. I said smart screen there. Um, smart screen is the equivalent of this for uh, Edge. Uh, that was a slip of the tongue there. Let's turn off smart control. As you can see, it says turning this feature off is permanent and not recommended. You won't be able to re-enter evaluation mode or turn on smart app control once you've turned it off. So I'm going to go turn off. Again, you need admin. And that's that. It's all off. Let's see if I can run run me again. And yeah, it seems to be running fine. Should say in a second the code ran successfully. All good. Once again, if you want to try out smart app control on a personal device, give the device a reset and see whether eval mode figures you're a good fit. If you want to try it out on corporate devices, consider enabling Windows Defender app control instead. See ya.